Hi, my name is Eilish Whitty and um, I'm a member of the Whitty family here at Whitford House Hotel. I work with my brothers uh, James, Gerard and my husband uh, Val and a great team of co-workers. The business was established by uh, Jim and Kay Whitty back in 1964. They started very, very small as a small bed and breakfast. Mum's aunt owned a farmhouse at the time and she asked her mum would she be interested in taking a few extra clients, to which mum jumped at the, at the opportunity and uh, it kind of went from there. Tourism was in its infancy at the time. It was just the year after John F. Kennedy came to Ireland. People began to realise that, wow, there's, there's uh, opportunity here. and it expanded from there, both tourism in Ireland and Whitford. We went on to become a guest house, then on to a grade A star guest house. And we went on to be a three star uh, hotel and then a four star hotel. So we progressed slowly, steadily, and uh, we've continuously invested in our business from day one. We would have about 100 to 120 staff, which would fluctuate from depending on the time of the year. Um, some of them will be seasonal. Although there's quite a few of the family working in the business, we all have our own little niche that we're, we're probably stronger at, you know, one area than somebody else would be. And we work to our advantage to that end, yeah. We would have a huge moral responsibility. We just, we feel it, we worry about them. We worry about our customers, worry about our staff. They have to be comfortable and they have to feel safe, they have to feel secure. What we love are happy customers and happy staff. We've been coming here over the last 40 years, you could say. I'm Liam Keenan. I'm just 80, right? And we've been coming here, myself and my wife Maureen, for a long number of years. The Whitford House was, in the years gone by, just a bungalow. And with Jim, who was passed away a long time ago, built it with his wife uh, up into what it is today, a first-class hotel. And I have to say, it hasn't changed other than the building changed, but the hospitality was always the same. I always say it's a Wexford thing, but it's built into these people. They carried on the tradition. It's a place to come, maybe for older people, but when you look at the spa and the swimming pool and all that, it's for younger people as well. It's for everyone. And the hospitality, you, you cannot buy that. I'm uh, John Carty and I'm the assistant manager here at Whitford Hotel. I started here with the family going back about 14 years or so. Um, my position back then was food and beverage, so I was manager here in the bar and the floor and stuff like that. And then I spent some time in Scotland managing hotels over there. Whitford is quite unique um, in comparison to the hotels that I've worked in and it's very family orientated here and you can see that it filters down through from the owners all the way down through the staff. The customers love it uh, and you can feel it, you, you just feel part of a team. You know, I, I've worked in other hotels where it's, you know, in the cities, wherever like that, and it's, it's just a completely different, different experience altogether. It's more business, a lot of people are just numbers going through the doors where everybody that comes in through the door here is treated like family and, you know, Everybody gives 110% to make sure that happens. The guys have always done a great job, but now everybody is watching everything a little bit more closely and the cleanliness has always been clean, but now there's so much more. The sanitization, you know what I mean, of before and after every visit from people at a table, you know what I mean, you, there's so much more cleaning involved. And, and because of all the regulations, guidelines, you know, I'm spending all my time really in the bar area at the moment because, you know, we get both doors covered for contact tracing. Everything has changed. The pub trade, nightclub trade, everything, everything's changed. And people just want a nice, vibrant, trendy bar to go into. 
and I think here has everything. Good food, good cocktails, good choice of drinks and great staff. So look, we have a great, great management team, great heads of department. So we all just kind of keep in touch. We have our group chats and everyone's there for each other. My name is Liam Brennan, I'm restaurant manager here in Whitford House Hotel. Throughout the years being here from the year 2000, things, as I said, have changed quite a lot. The business growth itself has expanded immensely. When I started into Whitford here, it was a full family-run hotel, and that was one thing that has been kept throughout the growth of business. When I started here, originally the staffed workforce would have been a lot less also. We have brought on quite a lot of uh, further staff with us also through the years. Uh, a lot of our staff, uh, as I said, have been with us quite a while. And some of the new staff that we would take in then would be students maybe that would be starting in college and they would stay with us for their college education and come back to us then maybe for part-time work. There has been a major investment in the business since then and the bedrooms have had a major refurbishment also. All food service areas and bar areas also would have had a major refurbishment since then. Now, over the 20 years, I suppose, one thing I would say would be that it has kept that individual feel of hospitality and that probably has contributed a lot to the likes of the family and management and the staff that have worked throughout the years building the business up. I'm Siobhan Deverick Stoyle, I'm the executive chef at Whitford House. I'm here 15 years uh, this October. I came from big hotels, four star hotels, big function rooms, busy, busy, busy. I came here and I went home crying my first day and said, oh my God, I never seen a place as busy. And from there we've just grown and grown and grown and in fairness to the Whitty family, they, they keep putting in money every year to expand the business and it's fantastic. In my department, I have 18 chefs and then I think I have 14 kitchen porters. As I said, you know, the kitchen porters are the fundamental part of our team. They didn't do their work properly, we wouldn't have our plates or delf or pots or anything. We, you know, with great respect to them and they do a fantastic job. For me personally, I've learned more in Whitford than I've done in any of the big hotels that would be four star and five star. Here, people look out for each other. People respect each other. They work together as a team. And Eilish and Ger have been fantastic to me personally over the years as well, but they look after each individual as their own family. You don't get that anywhere else. We were all fearing when we came back because I had several conversations with Ger. I said, you know, as I said, 18 chefs, you know, it's their jobs for everybody. We're all back. We're all back. Everybody's well looked after. We have a fantastic team here and we just enjoy getting on. We have to crack as much as anything else here. It's not all, you know, work, work, work. We have great fun. We have great respect as a family and as, a, you know, colleagues. We look after each other and, but we get the work done. The Wexford coastline is fabulous. All the way from North uh, County Wexford down to Hookhead. You have Johnstown Castle, which has had massive uh, investment in recent years. Wexford Opera House is fabulous. It was great forward thinking, great vision on their behalf to bring it from that very small first opera to what it has become today. It's a global success. My name is Jared Whitty. I'm one of four members of the Whitty family. I suppose from a young age we were all involved in the family business. I started off serving on the tables in the dining room during the summertime, emptying the bins, stuff like that around the bedrooms. As children growing up ourselves, we would have great fun playing tig or chase or football or whatever it was. We would have full house check-in on a Saturday night and we would have maybe 30, 40 children checking in with their parents on a Saturday evening and by Sunday morning, we would be best friends. Come Saturday morning, we'd be broken hearted, we'd be all heading off. 
And that night, we'd have another 30 or 40 new children coming in, and it would start again. And I would have worked with my older brother and uh, my dad in the bar. You couldn't see my head over the counter when I started it, when we started off. I always loved the bar and um, the whole atmosphere, the characters we had, just the stories in the evening time and lads telling the different yarns. I would be in behind the counter serving the lads and doing my homework at the end of the counter and whatever that and loved the banter. Mam was very good with the customers and she would always make it her business to come along and get to know the people. And over the years, we were the same people coming back year in, year out. And man would get to know that that's the Fitzpatrick's from Cork or that's the Wrigley's from Dublin. They like in such a room and whatever. And she would remember right down to a fine art. She just did a brilliant way about her. And she was a very, very shrewd business lady. Dad was a builder by heart and he loved the challenge. He loved being told, you can't do this, you can't do that. Off he would go and he would sit down and he would work a way out that he could do it. When we had B&B, &B, we probably had six, seven bedrooms at the time, when he got into his head that he was going to build a swimming pool. The grandfather thought he'd lost the plot altogether. But off he went himself and a few of the neighbours around and the uncle helped him out. And it was the first swimming pool in Wexford. A lot of the people from Wexford learned to swim in that pool. Dad passed away um, at the age of 52. And it was a massive shock to the family. Uh, at the time because I suppose like so many other families whatever like that your dad is your hero he was our hero and there was nothing there that he couldn't solve I suppose for mam it was her soulmate it was a massive void in our life um, our uncle mam's brother uh, Mick he stood in and he helped out and he became our rock and to this day he is still there for us. We've been very, very lucky over all the years. Uh, we've had some great, loyal customers. And uh, for us, it's about carrying on our dad's and mum's legacy. It's not an easy business. It is a tough business. But the rewards are brilliant. The people have it here. Sometimes we don't know our strengths. But these people that run here are something special.